Last year's Mach 1 felt like a Clayton 3, but this year's Mach 2 really separates itself with huge changes in every way. I've put a couple hundred miles on mine already, including a half marathon race. Here's my review of the Hoka Onaoni Mach 2. As always, let's start with the upper. The completely seamless and flexible upper is very comfortable. It did a good job of holding my foot down, but also having enough flex to bend with my foot. Also, I found the toe box to be a bit roomier than many of the other Hoka's, especially around the pinky toe, which I know many people will appreciate. The heel slash ankle collar is slightly padded, which helped add some comfort for longer distances, but also didn't weigh it down for quicker, shorter paces. Although the upper is a bit more closed up than last year's model, I still found the mock to be breathable. Cutouts in the mesh on both sides, above the toes, and along the tongue helped move air through the shoes to prevent my feet from cooking on those hot runs. Some areas that I didn't necessarily like the flexibility were in the heel counter and the sides. It doesn't help keep you secured as much compared to last year's model, but that's just me being nitpicky and I have never actually had any major issues with this on long runs or workouts. Another issue that some people have had issues with is the edge of the tongue cutting into their ankle. I haven't experienced this myself, maybe it's because of the socks I wear or how it fits me, but that's just something I wanted to note. Now let's talk about the midsole. While still being maximal, the amount of cushion in the Mach 2 is just right. It's cushioned enough that I was more than happy to wear it for a half marathon I raced this summer, and it's one of my favorite shoes to do progressive runs and longer fart licks in. There's enough underfoot to keep your feet happy after long, fast miles, but also not too thick or clunky that you can't go fast in it. It's the Goldilocks amount of cushion, in my opinion. The cushion isn't the only reason I like it for long races and workouts. The Profly midsole is a bit softer in the heel and a bit firmer in the forefoot to help with a nice toe off. This in combination with the rubber infused foam made for a really responsive ride with a bit of bounce. This is especially noticeable when picking up the pace since I found it to be a lot livelier than last year's model. Unlike some other shoes that feel great when you're up on your toes, but can feel awkward at slower paces, the Mach 2 is just as comfortable for speed days or recovery days. I honestly thought it was hard to find any issues with the midsole, but one thing I wouldn't mind is having a tad bit more of a rocker. When looking at the heel from the back, you notice that the geometry isn't very steep, especially when compared to the Carbon X, which has next level rocker. I think maybe a bit steeper geometry in the heel to promote a quicker transition into the toes would be nice. Now let's talk about the outsole. So technically, this shoe doesn't have an outsole. The rubberized midsole and outsole are one piece but the triangle pattern has been holding up well and has decent grip on roads. Even though the rubberless outsole gets the job done, a couple tiny patches of rubber in the high wear areas might have been nice, but then again, that add weight, so I guess it has its trade-offs. The Mach 2 really hit the nail on the hammer for me. It's a versatile, up-tempo trainer that excels on race day. The flexible upper, Goldilocks cushion with just a bit of bounce and an outsole that is surprisingly durable made for a bit different feel than some of the other typical Hoka's. Although I think it could have used maybe a little bit more rocker and a patch of rubber too on the outsole, the Mach 2 was an easy choice when deciding what to choose for my training and while racing the Grand Tetons Half Marathon. But now the hard part is going to be choosing between this or the Rincon for my upcoming marathon in October. But that's for another video. Subscribe so you don't miss that, and as always, keep on running.